If you don't like puffing and your situation's rubbing, you can munch the mighty muffin with a job kick stubborn. Job kick stubborn, no sense of roughing. Job kick stubborn, if you're toughin' it. Job kick stubborn, no need for puffing it. Job kick stubborn, when you can rub it. If you don't like puffing and your situation's rubbing, you can munch the mighty muffin with a job kick stubborn. Hi, welcome back to Baking the Fool and myself. I'm your host, Watermelon. Today's recipe, no frowny brownie. A couple of these brownies, you got no reason to frown. And I'll tell you why. It has got a dark 64% chocolate in it. And my little secret ingredient is coffee. As you heard from my mother, many people are allergic to nuts. I like to put coffee in my brownie. What I'm going to do to begin is earlier today, we already melted some butter with some of our special botanical herb. So I am going to just bring this over here. It's all nicely melted. And we are just going to add the chocolate into the butter. And that's seven ounces of chocolate. And I'm going to put it back on the stove on low to slowly melt. Chocolate is temperamental. It's like women. You have to heat them up or cool them down just right. So you want to put it on a really low heat and once the chocolate starts melting, turn the heat off and let the warmth of the butter melt the rest of the chocolate, okay? That will go back on the stove and while that's on the stove, we will put our recipe together. Um, what you're going to need is a rectangular pan. Uh, the reason I have a rectangular pan is when I go to cut them for serving size, it makes it easier. You can use a 9 by 9 pan, but then you'll be cutting squares. Um, and that reminds me, I'm actually terrible with pans, so I'm going to ask my mother to help me. Mom? Yes, dear? Can you help me, please? Okay. Every time I bake, my brownie sticks to the pan, and I know that you have a secret technique. Uh, everybody, this is my mother. Uh, Mary, there you go. Can you show my audience the secret technique to not make it stick? This is flour? Yeah. I can have a pinch? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to sprinkle a pinch over the bottom. I thought we were wax papering it. Yes, but you don't want the wax paper to stay stuck to the pan. You have so to put flour under just, the wax just, paper. Just, 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 just a, a very small amount. Okay, that would explain. To, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect on there. And then you take your paper and you just just line the bottom line of the pan. Line the bottom of the pan. I, I never put the flour under there before. Okay. That's my problem. Yeah. And you'll just it'll be so much more pleasant. Okay. So what we have is flour under some wax paper. I'm just going to set that aside. We're going to start with our dry ingredients. We have uh, what I've done is I've actually weighed it out. But you have your flour. May I say something? We tend to use whole grains. That's why this isn't pure white. I did. I didn't get white flour. You can use white flour at home. This is a whole wheat flour. We're but I did sift out. And you want to run your flour through a sifter. Yes. Thank you. Sift your flour. And I sifted out the wheat germ, so it's quite fine. I also sifted the cocoa. So you're going to put in some cocoa in with your flour. And I would say... If you really like coffee, you can go over a half a cup. And if you just want it to be subtle, go under a half a cup. We'll just sprinkle a little coffee in there. It's really delicious. And uh, we have a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And I don't know if you want to uh, work this with your hands since you've had your flour. I like to just work all the dry ingredients together with my hands. Mm -hmm. And while you do that, I'm just going to check on... Too bad chocolate. this wasn't wet, I could lick my fingers. No licking your fingers, Mother. This is a very <laughs> hygienic cooking show. I know, dear. Oh, that's yeah. great. I just want to sneak a peek in here and let them see okay. that um, this chocolate is almost melted. And you don't want it to boil. So I'm just going to turn the element off and let the chocolate melt on its own right now. It's very temperamental. That's why they call them chocolate tempering machines. Because oh, okay. it's so temperamental, I think. If you overcook your chocolate, it gets chocolatey. Yes, it you, goes hard. It goes hard, and it gets this and white chalkiness about it. Again. I need four eggs in here. And you need a hole. I'll first. do two, and you do two. Okay, do you make a hole? You don't really need to make you a hole. Oh, make let's a make hole. a hole. Okay. 
Let's make a hole. Uh, we've made a hole. You go, and then I'll go. Oh, no, after you. Age first? All right, darling. Yes. Just throw your egg shell in there. One egg. Two eggs. Can you do the one-handed one? Uh, I haven't tried. And I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm going to try. I wouldn't try in front. You can go ahead. <laughs> try. try. The one-handed egg crack. Oh. You've got to be able to pull it apart. Huh? And I don't see any shells Move in over, Julia Childs. And we're also going to add a cup and a quarter of packed brown sugar. You pack it in there, and we'll just throw that in the bowl. There you go. Okay. Uh, will you mix that for yes. me? That needs to be mixed up really well. So we're just going to recap on the ingredients. It was one cup of sifted flour, one third of a cup of sifted cocoa, one and a quarter cups of packed brown sugar, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, four eggs, and my pièce de résistance ground dark coffee. And I put about a half a cup in there. You're free to put more or less, depending on how much you like coffee. She's going to mix this up as best she can, and I'm just going to... I, I, I can hardly wait, because you know there's yeah. nothing nicer than the two, chocolate and coffee together. Yes, I know. And dark chocolate and mint's another favorite. I'm going to start adding some of the... This is... Uh, so in here was seven ounces, sorry, eight ounces of butter and seven ounces of dark calibo chocolate. And I believe earlier we put in about 15 grams of our fabulous special herb. Can you get that mixed in there, Mom? I wonder. We need to get a a uh, little fork or something there to just to get it out of the center so I can really a fork to get it well, out of the center. Fork knife, something you know you have. Yeah, you have a, uh, a little smaller knife. Well, I, that's okay. That's all oh, right. I see. You want to cut just, it out of the whisker. No, I just need to to get this out of the center. It's, it's hard to it's mix because it it's, because it's um, a little thick yet. Stuck in there. Just get stuck. So okay. There you have it. You need to have a little, you need to put a little elbow, elbow grease, grease into yeah. everything you do. No wimps in the kitchen. For sure. It smells good already and it's not even in the oven. Oh wow. Oh yum. Okay, this is it. It's that simple. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna transfer it. And I just will grab a spatula. You're going to transfer it into your waxed and floured. That was what I was missing, floured you thing. You backwards on that. Floured and waxed. Floured and waxed. There. To our rectangular pan. Oh, yeah. And just flatten it out a bit. Oh, goodness. <sighs> yes, no is. frowny brownie. I'm, I'm smiling just looking at it. Oh. It looks decadent. It's decadent. This is going into a preheated oven. I've preheated the oven at 320 degrees, and it's going to go in for about 35 minutes. Let's do that. Okay. We'll see you soon. And now all we can do is wait for that to cook. I how think it's time for a brandy. I think it's time for a brandy. <laughs> I think our brownie's ready to come out of the oven. Well, it sure smells yummy. You cross your fingers, Mom. Okay, oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, here it comes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There is the no frowny brownie today. You better not turn your back, because you'll be missing some corners. You will be spanked if you eat this brownie <laughs> until it is ready. You know you will be. This brownie has to cool down in the pan for a little bit uh, before we cut it out. So what we're going to do while that's happening is we're going to make some whipped cream with our infused brandy to dollop on top. Mm. That was pretty good. Hi, we're back. Uh, while we were having some infused brandy, uh, we cut the brownies up for you. They're ready to be dressed. 
The naked brownies, we're gonna make some whipped cream. It's very simple. You buy some good quality whipped cream. Uh, what do you think about a cup we'll use? Yes. You just uh, free pour however much, maybe a cup in there. Won't go bad. And we'll turn it on low. We're just gonna add a little bit of sugar. Slowly. It's really up to you how much sugar. Do you like it sweeter or less sweet? Okay. And then, this is the infused brownie. I mean brandy. The infused brandy. Brandy, exactly. Can you just add that for a little flavor? And that's according to taste too? Uh, the brandy is according to taste as well. Okay. Cool. I know. Let's do that. Okay. And uh, now we just have to wait till it makes some whipped cream and then we're gonna I hope that wasn't too fresh whipping cream because real fresh whipping cream doesn't like to whip unless you put a, a drop of lemon juice in it. What if we turn it up higher? Perfection. I think it's perfect. Very good, Tara. Okay. I'm gonna give you this. Thank you. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna move that there. Sorry. Great. For my. Okay. Uh, can I just throw this and dollop it on the top? You now? know, darling, it it looks so lovely. Let's just take it to the next level. The next and level. The you next can take level. this brownie to we're, another level. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Into the, uh, into oh. the decadent. Are you going to put this in the bag? I'm going to put it in a baggie. Okay. Here, let me help. Thank you. Teamwork. Teamwork. Absolutely. Mother and daughter teamwork in the kitchen. Okay. Time on a tradition. All right. Now, if you just take here, let me scoop that down off of there. Okay. And now, if you take the scissors. And just cut a little hole in the corner. Okay. And now you have a bag for piping. And we're gonna put. And it's. I mean, that's as. Yeah. And. Just and now cut, we're gonna yeah, cut this. Cut and the bigger you cut that, the bigger more stuff is going to. Come I don't out want on it so big. I'm gonna you cut it a little it, smaller. I okay, think. Okay. Well, that's that's a fairly good size you got there. Okay. So anyway, now you just pipe it however you like. Okay. Wow. Would you like some whipped cream? Would I? See how easy and how much fun that is, and how attractive it is. It's attractive. It, 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 yeah, we're fine dining. I mean, you know. And I'm just gonna go league. like this. Yeah. Isn't that what they in a high-end restaurant? Isn't that how they? A high-end restaurant. Very funny, mom. Well, I'm very serious, dear. <laughs> so, I think that looks perfect. And there we have it, baking a fool of myself. No frowny brownie. Turn that frown upside down, get in the kitchen, and start making the no frowny brownie. That was awesome. We should go eat it. Situation's rough and you can mush some out of the oven with a job kick stuffing.